Paitos Guayla. I'm Nazar Paitai from Emmy Primary School. My name is Koto J. Nazar Paitos from Emmy Primary School. This session is Differential Equations. Chapter 1. Separable Differential Equations. So first for this, we'll talk about proportionality. Okay. Well, remember for this time in differential equations, what type is it? ODE or is it PDE? ODE. And the, the differential equations that we've been solving for the past few lessons, what are they common? They are all separable. Yes, correct. Most of them are first order, except for some. Yes, there are some questions that are different orders, right? Like second order, sixth order, eighth order. Okay, remember for these type of questions, you can have a lot, a lot of them. Okay. And there are even might be quite a number of them, which you need to use different methods, although they are all separable. <coughs> Do you remember for that sometimes you use factorization? Yeah. And we can have a lot of other methods, right? Yes. So first, when we talk about the proportionality, do you know what is the symbol? Write it out. K. Wait, actually, that is not a symbol. They are okay, this is a sign. Yes. Okay, so this is a proportionality sign. Okay. So actually, it should be an infinity with a wide mouth open. Yes, and remember for this proportionality, it is actually like... For this... Okay, for example, this is graphs. For example, if this is called y equals kx. Why if y was, I mean, x was 4 and k was actually 8. Okay, just give any random. Okay, so you want 4 and 8. Yes. Okay, so that means the y will actually be a 32. Yes. And if x was a 2, y. 16. Okay, so remember for this, it means that they must be, they must be all correct, right? Yes. There's a ratio. Okay, yes. Like this is 1, and for example, k is 2, 1, so there's a 2, 2, and there's a 4. So there is the common ratio between. Yep. Talking about these common ratios, do you know that about banks? Well, we have interests. Yeah. Like Are you interested in learning interest? Yes. For example, you have one thousand money. I mean, one thousand dollars. So let me just tell you, interest. It is when you put the money into the, the bank. bank. What happens? The bank gives you back. A bit of money. Okay, so it's like after one year when you come back and collect your money, you might realize that it increased. Yeah. And that is the the amount of increase might is the interest. Interest. Just to tell you that we have two types of interest. Common interest and you mean simple interest and the Compound interest. In a com a compound. First, we give an example on this interest, okay? Okay, for example, you have $1,000. You have $1,000. You give, you put your all your money into the bank for two years. <coughs> What's the interest rate? 10%. So it's 
so 10% interest. Yes. Well, first, can we just try out one year? Okay. Well, remember at this point we actually had a problem? Yeah. So we'll try out one year, remember? 1,000, you still need to plus the 1,000 times the 10%. And that's the third part, yo. Okay, so you want that to be per year? Yes. Okay, yes, P is the short form for per year. Okay. So right now for this, 1,000 times 10%. What is it actually? 1,000 1, times 10%, which is actually just... Is it 100? Yes. So you have this much less, right? Not that you increase by 100. Yes, so, so this is what you get at last. Yes. Yeah, because it left. Okay, even though that is you just need for my dose. So right now, for this bank, well, most banks, okay, I have the way that have most banks, okay? Most banks use this. But I'm the special kind of bank. I want to be the special kind of bank. So this is what you get in the end. Okay? Yes. You got like this amount of money, right? Actually, there are two types. This is the first type which both banks use. This means how much yields. Wait, so what do you want for that? Since you 10% is and for two years, so usually be 20 because for two years. Okay, wait. So for this part, well, you can just have x times 10%, okay? So this actually sometimes how what you get at last. Remember, x is the number of oh, and time, the, the amount the, of time. Yes, because and that's n how, is the this ten percent. Because some banks they might per month, per year, per yes. whatever number of years. Yes, this is two years so. Plus 10% for per year, so it will be like... Wait, what happened over there? So you will... Like this, so... 1,000... Okay, so it times in, right? Yes, why 1,000 for 20%? Okay, so if you want to find that, it is actually 200. Yes. Would you was? So that's actually what you get at last. But remember, this is what we call it though. <coughs> so some banks are special, in better than the normal bank. Remember, this is called a simple interest. Okay. But, so it will be like. Since, for example, this, stand for the special kind of bank. Okay, wait, so let's try for the first year. Okay. First year, what? What do you get? First year. You still get 1100, right? Yes, second year. Then it's still 1 plus 10 percent. This is special. So what do you think what you get here? So it will be... Uh, so you actually plus 110. Remember, 110. So it's 1210. Dollars. 
the back to front wages. Back to front is the increase month. Yes. And also, back to front has some negative, but it's still called increase month. So what do you call this? So is this an increase month? This so this is an increase month in percentage. percentage. Then so the increase money percentage, okay? Okay. So in percentage, it is actually percentage is out of 100, 100 right? Yes. Well, we also can call it other than increase money in percentage. What if it's the opposite? Decaying in percentage. Okay, decrease my in percentage also can. DK also. What if this is bigger than zero? It's increase. In increase. So it's an increase my right? Yes. Bigger than zero, there's an increase. What change did you realize here right now? It's decaying. Okay, yes, correct, it's decay, which just means it's decreasing. Yeah. As it's smaller than zero, right? Yeah. So right now here, this is for x, right? Okay. What if I use n? n usually means full number, right? Okay, yes, n is for numbers. So yeah. this is a... Uh, Increase my in, in numbers. Yes. What if I added an n down here? It becomes the increase increase in, in the percentage, percentage of those percentage numbers, of those right? Numbers. Yes. Okay, smaller and bigger. It's still the same thing, right? Um, okay. okay. So for this, okay. What if I add a? Wait, wait first. What if I use a D? Also the same. D, but what's the difference between these? D is actually means that it is differentiate. It is a infinitesimal, <coughs> very very yeah. small. The teeny weeny teeny infinitesimal. Okay. So actually for this, it's actually the same, right? Just that this is very small. Okay. Okay, remember this is for those percentages. But what if... Okay, you want to add a T there. Then do you know what does that mean? Okay, yes, correct. So this part above is the increase month in the percentage, right? Okay. But this T it stands for the time. So it is the increase month in percentage per unit time. Okay. Remember, because the time it can be years, it can be months, it can it also, be weeks. It also could be minutes. It could be seconds, it could be mini seconds, it could be hours. There's Talk a lot of times, Talk even about. centuries. Okay, centuries or millennia. Talking about mini seconds, they are very short, right? Yes. So, when do we add it like this? It's more like mini seconds, but. Actually, other than actually, you also can like measure. Is it the same? Actually, you yeah, and actually you could just measure the for example of time. Okay, so let me tell you for this. Remember, this is for per unit time. Okay. And remember, this is actually very important. Okay. For example. 
There are people who die, right? Yup, and there are people who born. So for this, you can calculate. You can calculate how much. You can actually calculate how many people. For example, a people counting ants, and every every like hour, we found that a lot of ants were dead and a lot of ants was born. So for example, using this, you calculate the increment or the decreasement per unit time. Yes. Okay, taking that this ratio is actually the same, you can actually calculate at last after how much time, how many ants are left, right? Yeah. And you, for example, hairs also. Hair, hair, you every time drop hair, but every time you grow some hair. Yes, correct. Every time you draw some hair, every time you grow some hair. So remember for this,
Oh, my friends go to see the bacteria. Well, we'll talk about these bacteria. First, for this part, can we try to solve a differential equation? Okay. Okay. So I can erase these. Okay. Okay, well, right now, just to tell you for these things, these things are actually natural, right? Yes, natural. Think about natural. Natural logarithm. Okay, you think of natural logarithm. And that is our third point. Yay. Okay, so I remember the one just now. Okay. Remember this? Yes. Okay, what if this is actually negative? Enough Chinese word. A uh, negative lambda. Okay. Then, do you still remember that we have the dt below? Yes. Can we times it over here? Okay. So, to solve that, we can both sides integrate. Yes. But remember this, at first we already separated this. That's how we get this part. Okay? Just to tell you at first. At first, it's actually like this. Then after that, you get it like that. So, would you want to use indefinite integral or definite integral? Definite integral. Do you know how to write out the boundaries? What is no? Enough no is and not. Okay, and not. But not, even though the spelling is not shall not, but the meaning is not not shall. It's actually just a number. Yeah, it's not, it's not the kind of not you see in the cartoons. Okay, so what happens when this integrate? Okay, so it's straight away having like that because long something minus long something you can just write this long that long over another long and over no wait a okay remember I said the proper no. way and not okay so exponential do you know how to find n yeah. Yeah, I do. How? I'm showing you now. Good, because then this logarithm, the inverse operation is a exponential. Am I right? Yes. Okay, let me give you a challenge. Which I increase, which I decrease. I guess this is increase and this is decrease. Yes. Why? Because here, positive it keeps adding, negative it keeps minus. Yeah. And plus, you know, cancer is for the first or the second one, cancer. Well, it is about the question. Is it asking for people dying of cancer? People dying of cancer. Okay, people dying of cancer. Of course, it can get more and more. Cancer spreads quickly. Yes. Cancer like from one people ill, then after other people all good, but then they you. Okay, well, well, let me just tell you for this, when it depends on the question, what I mean is that like people dying of cancer or the people who are not affected by cancer. Right? Yes. Plus, Remember for this, these are all in our natural lives. We can use them. Yes. And they're actually very important. In the future, anything could happen. Like, you know, the universe is expanding. Okay. Yeah, the universe is expanding. 
Well, we actually can calculate how fast. So, natural in the future. In the future mean my meaning is in the future, but some of the things you learn will be natural. Okay, actually, right now, for these we all can apply in our lives, meaning they're natural. Okay. Yes. So remember for this natural logarithm, why do we call it natural? Remember? What happens? Okay, we have, remember, natural we can apply in our lives. So we have the last, which is number four. So for the fourth point, we will have half-life. Yeah, for this half -life, that means that you only have half of your life. No, it doesn't mean that, but it is the time taken for, de for it to decay to reduce to half of its original number of things. For example, there's a group of things after a period okay. of time, for example... Let me just say, for example, bacteria. I want to have this number okay. there. I want to have this number of graphs instead. Okay, also can. Graphs that it will take... 10 years to become okay so that's half of them right yes then another 10 years <coughs> so that's another half yes and one more with And so on. So you can just keep continuing, right? Yes, until we don't have any more. So remember, actually, for half life, we can actually relate it to chemistry, physics. Yes. Like those chemistry, the elements, the elements, you know, that they can decay. Decay, for example, uranium. Okay. Yeah, they can decay, and then for physics, they can be like the. Well, actually, we have all sorts of those decays. Yes, but remember that decay is not the tooth decay. Well, it is actually the nuclear decay. decay. Yes, something like getting lesser. Okay, so it's this kind of decay. Actually, the decay is this kind of decay, not the kind of your teeth decay. It's not your teeth, instead. It's a, it's a group of people. Well, it is actually just the numbers half and half and half. Okay? But remember, yes. some might misunderstand and thought half of his life is just 10 years. And after another 10 years, they all die. But actually, no. This half life is just half and then half and then half. With the same duration. Yes, you know, like, for example, 100, then become 50 then become zero. It is not like that. It, it is. It, it always changes in numbers. It won't be the same numbers always. So remember, it's always half. Okay? Yes, and it's always not a two sticky. So for this, for this lesson, we have talked about these four things. Yes, and... Let me remind you that the decay is always not a tooth decay for math, chemistry, or physics. And one more thing for this. Like this, right? So we okay. have N as... How about this? Okay. okay. So remember, they can simplify the n not. Remember, time, I mean the negative, which is actually over, right? Yes. Times it to the other side. And then both sides times 2. You know why like the symbol, even though it's not like this? You know why like the symbol? Well, that is what we actually call it the top. Yes. Like this, it's can we have it? It's something like a J, but not a J. It's 